Housing Assembly. Remove the oil drain plug, drain oil, and discard the oil. Remove cap screws from the gear cover and remove the gear cover. If the cover sticks, use a soft hammer to loosen it. Remove and discard the gear cover gasket. Remove the oil seal from the cover and discard. Straighten the locking tabs of the lock washers. Prevent the shafts from turning by wedging a wooden block between the gears. Use a spanner wrench or drift to remove gear lock nuts. Protect the liquid end of the shafts by wrapping them with tape. Remove the front bearing retainer bolts and pull off the retainer and gaskets. If the retainer is stuck, leave it in place. It'll press out when the shaft is removed. Place the housing on an arbor press with the liquid end down. Use wooden blocks under the liquid end of the shaft to prevent it from falling. Place a wood or plastic block on the end of the shaft and press it out of the housing. The gears are now free to be removed. Remove the shims and identify them with the shaft on which they were used. Remove the O-ring, press it out, and discard the grease seal from the front bearing retainers. Press out and discard the rear grease seals in the housing. For 15, 30, 60, and 130 series pumps with bearing spacers, use a hydraulic press and V-blocks to remove the bearings and spacer from the shaft. For 60, 130, 220, and 320 series pumps without bearing spacers, remove the rear bearing using V-blocks and a hydraulic press. Secure the shaft assembly behind the lock nut in a soft-jawed vise. Remove the front bearing lock nut using a spanner wrench or drift. Remove the front bearing using V-blocks and a hydraulic press. Clean and inspect all parts thoroughly, which are to be reused. 